third and 12 at the Yale 42 and only 32 seconds left in the game and Yale having no timeouts. It was in Penn's back pocket. They had third and 20, third down and it didn't make any difference how far they had to go. There were only 24 seconds left, or 32 seconds left on the clock. All John Keller had to do was get the exchange fall down on one knee and by the time they would set the chains for the next play it would have had it would have taken 25 seconds which Penn of course could have used without a, a delay of the game penalty and the football game would have been over that was not to be Keller did not handle the snap Kelly Ryan took them down the field with literally 30 32 seconds to go and what they did on the scoring play Dan is they thrown that little out pattern to shoot two plays in a row and on the third time, when they were, Penn was probably assuming they were just getting into field goal range, Shoup ran the little out pattern, then turned up the field. The Penn defender, I can't remember who it was, took the fake, and Ryan laid the ball over his head, and there it was, a, a, a nice little bit of running into the end zone, and Yale, of course, gets the touchdown, and this, uh, for something to change the score at this point, is going to be a miracle. Well, it took one miracle for Yale to go ahead. I don't know how many are left this afternoon. John Gastel getting ready to kick off for Yale. Keys and Waller at the Penn 10 in kickoff return position. Gastel kicks a line drive, which bounces and goes through to Keys, and Keys covers it at the 23 with four seconds left in the game. A miraculous comeback by Yale to take a 28 to 22 lead over Penn. John Keller will drop back to throw. He throws across the middle, complete to Sandler as the clock expires, the gun sounds, and the...